What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be feeding some Opuntia cactus to all of my reptiles. I'm starting off with the Sokatas right now. They were all just basking here, taking a little nap. So they're going to be a little bit slower than the other reptiles. But while we wait for the other ones to start waking up, we're going to go feeding Bonnie and Clyde. So this is Bonnie and Clyde right here. I'm going to get their bow out and uh, set up a little bit of cactus for them. They didn't even bother coming out today. What's up guys? How are you all doing? Stay, stay in your cages, huh? I got no food today. I got no food right now. All right. Let's go. 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 No, don't bite me. I'm over here oh. cutting it and they go for the long part. She tossed one of the tiny ones in the water. Oh no, don't drink that water. This shit's nasty. I haven't cleaned it today. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. No. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Somebody threw mud in there. Probably one of those ricottas. Stop. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to go for a commercial break. It's so chaotic. Stop bro. drinking water. <laughs> Stop drinking mud. Okay. All right, back in action. I cut up the cactus. I didn't cut it too small. I wanted to see. I mean, they usually eat the pad whole, but uh, today we got some really thick ones, like these. They're too thick for them. Actually, I should have probably fed them this one. This one they could probably eat without me having to cut it. I'll feed this to the tortoises. I'll feed this to Bonnie and Clyde. Bro, we're here definitely like food. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> What's good, my children? Here you go. Need a little bit of food. A little bit of cactus. I put Gracie inside. Should have left her out here. These two right here are probably my two favorite animals out of all the ones I have. They're so funny. <laughs> you saw how he yeah. just got that chunk in? He threw his whole body for it. his whole body for it. He thinks he's a crocodile or something trying it's to do a death, death row on roll. the cactus. Yeah. And like, you want to, or the tortoises are like, what is going on here? Why is this guy, why are these two eating my cactus? Definitely some of the funnest animals that I have here. They put their soul into that bite. <laughs> <laughs> he, threw, he took the cactus from me. <laughs> it's a perfect triangle. Look at that. Hey, hey. Bro can't grab it normally. He has to get his whole mouth full. Please. Whoa. Oh, oh. Alright, Luna, I'm sorry, but the, my attention has to go back to these two. Where are you going? Playtime's over. You know what happens when you try and run away. It's always Bonnie, too. What's up, Bonnie? Why are you mad? I know you're not mad. It tried to upset you. I know. It's okay. You don't got to run away just because he embarrassed you. you. You ready to come back? All right. Bonnie doesn't want to be part of this anymore. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and put it back. Come on, Bonnie, it's okay. And you're done too, buddy. Let's put him back and move on to the rest of the animals. Look at this guy. This is my favorite lizard. He's a good boy. Yeah. Zoom. Look at this. This guy had a tick. Right here. Take this bad boy off. And today I thought that the feeding video was just about the reptiles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're missing all the action right here. Hold on, we gotta get rid of this little fool though. Look at those little legs right there. What a cute little guy. <laughs> so fast. Oh my god, bro. You're just zooming. 
through the Aldabra, bro. Just cuts through like fast as shit. Just, mm. and then like, he just chills over there. That shit was so funny. Yeah. You should have seen it. This guy, we gotta get him smelling nice and fresh right here. It's torture, bro. Oh, he popped. Now he's definitely safe to eat. Take a little popcorn kernel. That's what we should have done in the beginning. Oh, it smells terrible, dude. I kind of like it. That way all his little siblings that are in this enclosure, they know what, what's going to happen to them once I find them. Can't have them messing with the animals. All right, back to feeding. Oh, there he goes again. Yeah, so my cameraman has been spooking my my most important ambassadors here. My little babies, my children. It's okay, it's okay. These are my little baby Aldabra tortoises right here. This is the female. They, they don't got names. We need to name them. Stop it, what are you doing? Dude, Tom and Jerry, bro. Tom and Jerry. Genius name. I don't know because they're fast. I mean, Look at them. I don't know. Can you guys just eat some cactus for the videos? Come on. Come on. Hey. Come over here. Alright, well, my I mean my hermit tortoises are at least eating some of the cactus. The Aldabra tortoises, they do eat cactus. I just always feed them the whole pad. I don't cut it up. They're a little bit spooked now because there's a lot of things going on. You know, we were feeding the iguanas, feeding the zocadas, blowing up some ticks. But, um... Let's just see if we can feed them a whole pad. Why are you running? Why are you running? I thought I picked the cactus, man. Oh, look at this, dude. They don't eat cactus, but... Some little piece of plastic that comes into their enclosure they want to eat, huh? Alright, so here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go inside, we're gonna feed the other things, let them relax for a little bit, and then we'll feed them, hopefully. If not, then you guys are just gonna have to see them running and not eating. But I promise you they eat, look at this. Look how fat they are. Look at that chunkiness right there. And these guys have gotten massive. I just got them like less than six months ago. I no, it's definitely a bit more than six months. I I've no lost idea. I've lost my sense of time. I don't know what six months. It could be a year, it could be three, it could be six months. I don't know. It could be anything. But yeah, these guys have gotten big since I got them. They're awesome. I love them. Love them more than I thought, to be honest. Somebody the same day I got these guys, I don't I forgot how much. I paid like three thousand, I think. Yeah, or something like something that. Like somebody that. offered me the same exact day. Before I even got home, somebody offered me eight thousand dollars for them. I couldn't get rid of them though, because look how cute they are. No, there's definitely no way I could get rid of them. You guys are going to be here for a long time. Oh, I'm going to eat the cactus. Mm, nah, I'm just going to run away. You know what? I'm going to take up that offer now. The 8,000? I'm going to take it. I mean, he hasn't they don't want to eat cactus. They don't want to produce content for me. Let's get them out of here. Skedaddle. No, mm. that shit is good. Really? Bro, that shit is good as f <laughs> Dude, what? All right, take a bite out of that one. Dude. I'm not eating a cactus. Dude. Take a bite. No, I'm not eating the cactus, bro. Take a bite. Give me the phone. There's no way. I'm not eating this, bro. Eat, take a bite. There's, I'm not eating this shit. Dude, dude. <laughs> take a bite. It's grass. That's like, that's like eating a, a mango. Eating, is this a mango, dude? What the? F <laughs> Actually, it's good, right? Yo, hold up, give me that I'm shit back. It, but... Give me that back. Get out of here. <laughs> Get off my food. Get out of here. What? This is mine. I'm keeping all this. No, I'm just in there so confused. I'm sorry. I was just playing with you. All right, so we got Bonnie and Clyde Jr. right here. This is uh, Cha Cha and um, Hazel. Hazel and Cha Cha. I always forget the names. They're from the, the Umbrella Academy. What's up? Look at these little guys. These, these are like little Bonnie and Clyde's in training. 
What about you? <laughs> yeah, like I said, this cactus is pretty thick, so it's a little bit harder for them to eat. I wonder, do you think this will, that I could split it like in half this way then? Probably. Yeah, let me try that. Get back inside there, please. Get off of me. Get on there. Stay there. I'll be right back. There you go, guys. Come on. Get out of here. Put in a little bit of work. They think because they're in captivity, they could just be lazy. It's like, oh, I don't gotta eat. I don't gotta hunt. Or not eat, but... I don't gotta forage, I don't gotta hunt. Let's get this big guy that comes over here and feeds me every day. All right, so you can see that these guys are enjoying their food. And look at over here. These guys are going crazy. You know, a lot of people ask me, how do I train my iguanas? How do I tame them? How do I have them so tame? That's it, just, just feed them. Um, at first, if they're usually more like skittish like that, what I do is like I cut up the food and I'll just leave it there and just wait for them to eat as they watch me and I just wait there as they eat and uh, once they see me and they're comfortable they're eating and stuff they start getting more and more comfortable until eventually they know that I'm the source of food and they stop fearing me and whenever I come and bring them food they fear me and it also helps believe it or not when th they have something to watch these lizards right here look at this let me close this these lizards I have not handled at all and I promise you they'll probably eat out of my hand just from watching them Let's see, it'll be a little bit harder to get them to trust me, but. Look at this. These are, these, I just got these not too long ago. I have not trained them at all. They were super scared of me. Um, I had them in like a different box. I was quarantining them. Oh, uh, these are club toe iguanas for those of you who don't know. These are Utila Island iguanas, Bonnie and Clyde, or Cuban Rock iguanas. They're the ones outside. And then the big tortoises are the Okada tortoises. I don't know if I've been naming the species, but either way, uh, these guys, they were super skittish. And just from watching, the other iguanas, they start getting more and more tame. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to, like, pick these up and handle them and stuff. But this is the first step. Just holding this here for a little bit. And eventually, they'll do like these guys. That they'll come onto my hand and they'll start eating. That means that they'll start getting comfortable with being outside of their enclosure, me moving them around. After that, I start grabbing them a little bit. And they start getting comfortable with that. And eventually, I can do whatever. And after that, it's just like a sense of, like, trying to get them to not fear when I move too fast. So that's why when I have my monitors or, or a lizard out, um, when they're a little bit more tame, I try to move fast on purpose to spook them and to get them comfortable with that. Because if you're always like normal, like like calm, trying to be calm around it, that's what you gotta do at first to not initially spook them so that they don't start being scared of you. But once they start, they lose their natural fear of you, then you gotta get them comfortable with being spooked, like being surprised. And there's three of them. I don't know where the other guy is at. He's probably sleeping or something, but... Yeah, let's see if I could... If I could get one of them. Yeah, they don't, they don't like it as much, but... These guys, I'll just put this in here. And we're gonna do that for the other guys as well. Because now we're gonna take way too long. I got too many animals to feed. I love them. Like, they, they just sit here and just watch them. They just watch me when I'm out here. Bro, that's the best feeling. Like, I just come out here into my into my room, and every single animal just comes to the edge of the enclosure and just looks at me. Look at this. This guy was well. Now he looks away. Now he looks away. But look, this guy's watching me. This guy comes out. As soon as they see, hear me walk in, they'll just jump out. I always hear him jumping out. These are my rhino iguanas now. And this one's scared of him. That's why she's uh, like she's not freaking out, but like she's like, what's going on? Frozen. Like, doesn't, yeah, she doesn't like it. And he doesn't like her too much either. But that's pretty normal, especially when they're like in this age. They're like juveniles, you know, they're going through toxic puberty. relationships. Yeah, exactly. We've all been there. We've all had toxic relationships. Um, but yeah, they, they get mad at each other. This is like Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde used to always fight. And now Clyde is the one that's dominant. You guys saw that. that Clyde uh, scared Bonnie. But look, I let them, they just close their eyes and, and just chill. Okay. Oh, we're gonna have to go get more cactus because this is not enough for these two. And uh, these, we're gonna have to get him a little bowl as well. For some reason, he didn't eat out of my hand, which is pretty weird because he usually does. But at the same time, I, whenever I handle these animals, I'm usually by myself and not with the cameraman. So that's some t the smaller ones. Sometimes they don't. That's why, like, I try and do things sometimes, 
and I can't do it when I'm trying to record it because uh, there's somebody else around. He just took a nap. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just stepping on it. <laughs> what is going on? How do I turn him on? Just do something, bro. That one's literally just been sitting there the whole time. I need a little pedicure here, manicure, whatever it's called. You just lift your finger? Yeah. He's trying oh. to eat the camera. He's trying to eat the camera. There we go. We woke him up. You turned them on. Good job. You got it, dude. You turned them on. So that's all you got to do. Or maybe it's just because of the girl. Look at him. What a cool guy. Something about him just doesn't seem right. Got the little horn right there. That's why they're called rhino iguanas. All right, bro. We'll just let you do your thing and we're gonna go feed up everybody else. And look, it's been a minute since I update you guys on these on this guy right here. Check this guy out. This is my my greatest accomplishment right here. This this uh, boy right here. I love him. This scar. He's a rescue, and when I got him, he had his eye popped out of his head right there. I don't know if you could really see it on the side right there. His eye is gray compared to how the wait, normal wait, wait, eye is supposed wait, wait, to look. Wait, wait, wait. It's not focused, bro. You're moving him too much. No, he's moving himself. Yeah. Is it focused now? Yeah. All right, so that eye right there. You can see, compared to this one, his, head, his eye had popped out, but now, now he looks so cute, you know, and he has a pretty interesting story. And look from the top, you can see his eyes, and it's like inside of his head, it doesn't look even. But yeah, luckily this guy was able, we, I was able to fix him up. What do you want? Are you trying to scratch up the, the glass there? Oh yeah, super cool little red tail ball. If you guys want to see the video, you're gonna have to go check it out. Me fixing him up. He came really messed up. Now he's really pretty. He's usually a lot brighter in color than this. He's like gray, uh, not really brown like this, but today's a little bit darker. What does this guy want? Is this, you want a snake? This thing would eat you. What are you gonna do? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, dude. That's what I thought. You know who he always he, he always tries? Who? Big man right there. Whenever Raptor's outside, this dude comes over here and he's like scratching up against us. What do you want to do? What is he? What do you want to do? At one time, um, like when they were in their other enclosure, they escaped once. And he was like running up our raptor's cage, this little thing, and he, and he was like half the size that he is now. He was like this big. Like, I'm telling you, this lizard's crazy. Yeah, he wants all the smoke. He wants to smoke with me right now. Look at him. At first, like when I was first like trying to get him tamed up, bro, I was scared of him. Like he'll run, he'll jump from down there and run up to my arm like super fast, and I just like start biting it, uh, biting the food. But like he, I, he like tried to intimidate me. He's a little bit crazy. Oh. And uh, this is Jay. It's uh, Harley and Jay, like Harley Quinn and the Joker. I'm I'm naming all my iguanas after like villains. Pairs. Yeah, like couples, criminal couples. So I got uh, Bonnie, Clyde, Hazel, Cha Cha. Even though they're not really real a couple. And uh, yeah, and neither is Harley and, and and Joker. But still, I think it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for this video because it's getting way too long. It's already been 20 minutes and I still have about 40 more minutes of footage for me to edit. So I'm going to just cut it right here. I'm going to do another part. So let me know what you guys want me to do. Do you want me to post the second part tomorrow or would you rather I post it when my next upload date is, which is in about a week? I was looking back at the footage and this dude looked like he uh, finished himself off. What are, you, what are you doing there, buddy? You good? Alright, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss the next part. We still got 30 animals to feed and 
a couple little baby tortoises that are hatching out that are gonna be uh, featured in the next video. But well, here's a little sneak peek. There's a couple eggs hatching out. So you guys will see that all in the next video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day.